The next program I want to take a look at is iStation. iStation also has a program that you need to install at home. If you've used it in the past, then you know you've gone to iStation.com to install this program. Once you've got the latest version of iStation installed, then you're going to click on I, the iStation app, a little icon. Again, it may take a second or two, so don't click, 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 just wait patiently. So unfortunately, I got this launch failed message, but I know why I got that message. If you get launch failed when you click on the iStation icon, it's happening for one of two reasons. The first one, you might not have installed the iStation program on your computer. This is one that requires you to install a program in order for it to work. The second thing that could be causing the problem is you might have had that version of iStation installed on your computer for a little while and it's time to update it. So you might need to uninstall that version of iStation that you already have on there and go to their site to install the newest version, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to open a new tab and I'm going to go to iStation dot com and then on the site I'm going to click on services and support scroll down just a little bit and you'll notice in this section it has information about downloading iStation if you're on an iPad you will need to have the latest version of the app on your iPad same thing with your Android I'm scrolling down a little farther. If you are using a Windows-based computer, you will choose this download. If you're using a Macintosh, you'll choose this download. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to click on that one. The program that iStation uses on your computer is called the Imagination Station. So now I've got that uh, installed on my computer. And I can see it's right there. So I'm going to open my window back up. I'm going to choose to close this window so that I can try that again. So I'm clicking back on Clever. And now I'm going to try this one more time. So I'm clicking on iStation. Now, this is an important piece. This is what I should have seen had I had iStation installed, the right version of iStation installed, which is the very latest one that's on their website. So I'm going to choose, and this is important, um, sometimes kiddos click things fast and they may choose don't open. If they do that, they will need to start again, go back to Clever, and relaunch it but we'll want to make sure that they choose open the imagination station. You can choose to check this box so that you don't have to do this every time. So I'm going to click on that. It is safe. <laughs> You'll notice down in the bottom, I am now opening up. Please iStation. select an activity or log out of iStation. It should know who my student is when I log in, so it'll open up directly for me so that I can start using the program, or my student can start using the program. This is important every time they're done, especially if you have more than one student working on your computer at home, that they click on Log Out. Please enter your user. And then Ex Exit. <laughs> So again, if for some reason you click on this iStation icon and you get an error message that says launch failed, the two troubleshooting tips I can give you are first, make sure you've installed iStation on the computer, that is a requirement for the program, and two, if you did install it, that you have the most current version installed. If not, you might want to try uninstalling that program and then reinstalling the most current version from iStation.com.
So coming back to Clever, just to finish up, uh, make sure, again, if you have more than one student, that you're always choosing to log out when they're done. That way you can ensure that your next kiddo is not logging in and working under their brother or sister's work.